Totalitarianism. You keep using that word, but I don't think it means what you think it means. Totalitarianism is the encompassing of all things under the regulation of a monolithic state. Everything is absorbed into it, and nothing can exist outside of it. Society, culture, religion, and politics are collapsed into a single entity which takes total control of all aspects of life. Ironically, Plato's Republic gives us the first hints of what a totalitarian society might look like. He calls it a republic, but his focus on the dangers of private property and family ties, the preeminence of the common good of the city-state, and the control of the mass culture by the body politic, these are some of the hallmarks of totalitarianism. Machiavelli adds to the philosophy by showing how a ruler can utilize the inherent power of the state for his or her own purposes, especially by means of propaganda, repression, and connivory. Totalitarianism could not be fully realized until more recent times. Though Plato lays the foundation millennia ago, we don't really see it until the 20th century. And though a few examples currently remain, the overall effect of totalitarianism upon the population is usually so destructive that it collapses upon itself within a couple of generations. And to be fair to Plato, Joseph Stalin and Kim Jong-un aren't the ideal rulers that he has in mind when he writes The Republic. What Plato does conclude in much of his work is that the greatest harm to a city-state is strife generated from internal disagreement about who ought to rule. Like what happens in, say, you know, a representative republic. So, what do you think is the greatest advantage or disadvantage of totalitarianism? Let's discuss in the comments below.